Let's do it. Let's do it. Musica is the only script I've ever read that has to do with Brazilian culture and specifically Brazilian American culture. And I remember thinking, wow, this is way cooler than I could have even imagined. Is that Rio? Yeah. My mom's from Copacabana. Mm. I felt very connected to the material. There wasn't enough Brazilian culture being represented in mainstream film and TV. Oh, eu preparei uma caixa de pininhas maravilhosas. Vou pegar para vocês. And it's such a unique and specific culture from the language que delícia. to the music to the food. My mom and I used to eat these every day. Infusing all that into this story was important. Right? That was awesome, guys. Yeah, perfect. Not only am I Brazilian and was raised in a Brazilian household, but when raised in the U.S. by foreign parents, you kind of see the world in two very different ways. Rudy, precisamos conversar sobre mulheres. Oh, I just woke up. And in this film, Rudy is stuck between two. Those two cultures are represented in the women that he's fallen in love with. They're represented at home, it's a bit of a battle. Você precisa de uma namorada brasileira. Você falou isso para mim mil vezes. Because the gringos are not good. Mom, can't say that. Rudy and I talked a lot about the difference between American culture and Brazilian culture. We exist somewhere in the middle. I have Brazilian parents living in an American environment, and my ideologies are all mixed up sometimes. Americans tend to value the individual, and they're very success-oriented and, and job-oriented. Haley says you already have a few advertising leads in the city. Did she say that? Well, I... And in Brazil, you can live with your parents until you're 30, and it's not weird. You shouldn't be this happy. Why? You live at home with your mom. So what? You live with your mom. Really? is all about family above everything. So it's messed, it's messed up. <laughs> I don't get it. What's wrong? No. Yeah, what's wrong? Uh, just... What problem? This whole thing's weird to me. <laughs> it's important to me that my mom just played my mom. She was able to just be herself. If for some reason she wasn't able to do the film, I would have changed the story. Yeah, what? Yeah, I know. What? 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 I love Maria. She is my favorite part about this movie. Brazilian mothers, they're the most overbearing but loving creatures to ever exist. These decisions don't evolve you, mom. Ah, sim, evolve sim. No, they don't. Muito comum no mundo latino. As mães estão presentes, né, 100%. They can get a bit um, excessive. We just had so much fun. Just go now. Yeah, go right now. You you mean it? Yes, I mean it. My first eat. The film takes place in the pocket of Newark, New Jersey, called the Ironbound. To think that Rudy grew up in the Ironbound, almost like a little Brazil. I've never seen anything like it. Look around. This is home. The older I get, the more I want to appreciate my Brazilian culture. And so it's nice to see somebody like Isabella who feels so connected to it. We shot in a lot of the actual locations that the film is set in. Brasilia Grill, which is a restaurant that I've been going to since I was very young. You always talk about this place, and it's nice. Opula Fish Market, which is a fish market that my mom Mother would buy fish in since I was very small. Yeah. Fish being no, thrown, fish. ice being stacked, yeah. scales being yeah. scaled. <laughs> Ultimately, audiences can see a glimpse into what being a Brazilian American looks like. Either you are Brazilian and you're going to resonate with the story, or you're not and you're going to learn something about what it means to be Brazilian. The best thing that happened in my life was participating in this movie. I'm so proud. Tá sorrindo? O que houve? Tá acontecendo? Nothing. I'm good. This is my life's work and it's based on my life. There's nothing more important in the universe than this project. Now we got a movie. Yeah, guys.